let me turn around the camera and show you a little bit our walk around here. And after that, we will continue our journey to Pittsburgh. so cute uh, my friends anyone watching from the midwest region uh, if so leave me a comment uh. beautiful america strikes again you know today i'll be reacting to europeans explore midwest usa in a van my friends i'm super excited for this one but uh, before i go into that uh, let me ask you for one thing if you can leave a like uh, thank you so much is the best way to show support uh, if you can subscribe well in that case uh, forget about it you make my day have that in consideration now link for the original video my description and uh, what Hello and welcome eh? back to a new vlog. As you saw last week, hopefully Man, you watched that beautiful. vlog. If not, go and check it out because there's a lot of fun things. But uh, yeah, like okay. you saw last week, we were in Chicago and Ooh, today Chicago. we actually left. And this is our first stop. It is called Portage and we just... Wait, Portage? Michigan? Oh, wow parked in uh, Indiana Dunes Portage National Park, something like that, I'm not sure. Okay. As you can see, it is extremely windy and it's on the lakeside, but it has a super cool view of Chicago, actually. It's around an hour away what? and we decided to make a stop here and you to have lunch Chicago. and to yeah, walk around a little bit, see around. So let me turn around the camera and give you the views because I think it is pretty okay. awesome. Sure. Show it to us. Damn. But I'm not seeing Chicago. Never mind. Whoa. Living the life. So we have been cruising around a little bit more, trying to find a location to sleep at, and we finally ended up in a crackle barrel parking lot which uh, there is an app that helps you with the camping recommended so we just okay. decided to stay here it looks kind of cool we also drove around um, some really typical suburbs and uh, yeah this was this is the real american experience that we really <laughs> wanted to see you know no tourists real life and uh, yeah let me turn the camera around so our camper is behind there. There is one okay. more camper on the left side. There is an RV on the right side. And here is also a store and like a diner that is always open. There's also people here. So this seems like a safe spot to be. And now we're gonna check out the diner. I already saw the menu and... I'm gonna be real. This seems a very relaxed place to, to stay at night, you know. Uh, man, the exploring America in a van is probably so much fun. That looked really good. We have some food for dinner. By the way, this video is crazy long. Crazy. It's 38 minutes. I will try to not post too much, but please leave a like if you enjoy long format type of content, because I can do it more, my friends, but you have to leave a like. But maybe we will go there for breakfast. Yeah, I'm... I'm already having a lot of fun seeing this what? real side of us so let's go inside and check it out oh this is so a good the crackle, place crack, well, i can't even say it. the crackle barrel was cracker closed barrel. cracker barrel it was closed my friends cracker barrel is also country food uh, basically right not a big deal but i thought i will show you our camper tour it's big enough to make a little tour here, so let's go. Okay. We have obviously the normal front where we yeah. both sit and it's very comfortable to drive around, so that is a good thing. And on the side here, I mean, it's a little bit messy already. We've put our stuff in here. So here we have some more seats that we just use as like a luggage for food, for stuff. Sure. And yeah, it's quite roomy out here. If there were more people, they could also sit with us. And this area here will be transformed into our bed. You can ride this thing out and put the mattresses and like, yeah, this whole area is 
going to be our sleeping area. It's a lot mm. of space. You can also put a table in here and sit. And in Looks the back, good. we have our kitchen station, which kitchen. is also very useful. Can you please open? So okay. we can open the both doors up here. We have a propane stove that you can Whoa. roll out and cook on. I hope I'm doing this correctly. So here oh, wow. we just bought ourselves a propane bottle for okay. the cooking the next days. For today we still have some salad and stuff like that. Then we got also a kitchen kit with all like the glasses here and some pots and pans because obviously That's we don't amazing. have that. Here's a little fridge that is a not fridge. too big but still roomy enough for the most important things that have to be fridged. Here's a storage and you can also There's put the sink. table through. A There's sink. a sink somewhere underneath here. Oh. Here is a sink where you can wash your plates, wash your hands and we have five gallons of water which should be enough for two weeks That's for amazing. Yeah, washing everything. And here we also can put the table out and we got camping chairs and a camping table as well. Today we're not going to be using it. It's also really cold in here. We're both freezing, so we'll for sure stay in the camper. But I think this is perfect for all of our needs. It's not luxurious, but that's not what we signed up for. Oh, this is looking amazing. My friends, now I'm at home. I have so many ideas. Should I go to America and explore America in a van instead of going to hotels or R&Bs or something like, like that? Uh, and Man, I, I don't know, driving in America and stuff, and I don't have experience with vans, uh, so I, it's probably difficult for me to, to do it, but it uh, seems like the true American experience, you know? And yeah, I guess now we're going to enjoy our night, set up the bed and do all those things, so I'll see you tomorrow and let's see what the day brings. Okay. Oh, those are... Ooh. tomatoes. I thought in America you guys just uh, eat uh, fried green tomatoes. I'm joking. <laughs> oh. On the road again. <laughs> Good morning. It is the hey. next day and uh, we are right uh, outside of Detroit. A couple Detroit. Andre, do you know anything about Detroit? I know actually. Eminem was born there. Pull of right? yeah, ha half an hour <laughs> I away, think I so. think. <laughs> and uh, we slept in a camping area, which you can see right behind me. It is really, really nice. Yesterday, actually, at the place where we had dinner, we thought we could stay right there, but there came like a police guy and kicked us off into like a camping area, which is in the same park. See, this is why me going to America and exploring in a van could be problematic because those rules, I, I know zero. Where we were, so it was not too big of a deal. And uh, we slept really good yesterday. We also bought from Walmart okay. like a, an additional mattress to put on top because it was quite hard for Xava. Not too bad for me, but we decided since we're going to stay two weeks in this camper, it is worth to make an upgrade. And uh, we just got ready, packed up all of our stuff, and we are ready to go into Detroit to explore a little bit the city and maybe go to another museum. Fun fact, uh, Eminem is from Detroit, and as a big Eminem fan, this is really cool. I and he even it. has a mom's spaghetti restaurant. Unfortunately, it only opens at 4 p.m., so we will probably not be here anymore. Oh, that's the famous song, Mom's Spaghetti. Yeah, I, I know that one. But I think it's still a cool, fun fact to know. And uh, we also have to find a place to do laundry. I'm starting to wear all of my summer dresses, which do not really fit with American aesthetics, but why? I don't have anything else to wear. And luckily, the weather seems to be really beautiful. So let By the way, I'm, I, I, I said I will not post too much, but it's difficult. Look at the background. It's so beautiful. Let's start this beautiful day and let's see where our adventure takes us. As always, we have no concrete plans. We're just going to 
see what the vibes are and decide okay. by ourselves. My friends, we are going together into this adventure. Yeah, you and the Portuguese guy. Enjoy it. I love American museums. You guys always have a lot of those uh, in the, you know, in, in, in the basically all states, I assume. And they, they are so unique. I, I love it. Anyone watching from Detroit? Physics? Favorite president. Thomas Jefferson. Wait, what? Ah, still slower than me. I had seven something. So we just finished the museum tour and it was another four, yeah, four hours again. My friends, did, did they said the name of the museum? Uh, but I bet a couple of you guys may, may know. Please leave me, leave me in the comments. Pretty consistent and US museums are fascinating because they are so big and they are made in a way more interactive and interesting way than Europeans museum are. Mm -hmm. So that is pretty cool. I think almost any museum is worth visiting. And uh, we learned a lot about car industry, but also airplanes and uh, agriculture, tractors. And I found it really cool. So if you're in the area, it is definitely worth a visit. And since it's already 4 p.m. and we still have to actually drive somewhere to Canada, we are at the moment deciding a location. Canada. Uh, we're gonna skip Detroit downtown and we're just gonna go to Lafayette, which has the legendary um, hot dogs in Coney Island or in Detroit area. Okay. And uh, supposedly that is like a must try item in here. And after grabbing a hot dog, we will be driving two to three hours, depending on which parking lot we choose. We're just setting up the route. So let's go and check the legendary diner. Let's try some hot dogs. Oh, diner. Yes, it's a diner. Oh, it's a diner. Yes. Oh. And uh, get back on the road because we want to go it. actually tomorrow to um, Niagara Falls. And there we will probably stay for more than one day. Oh, that's why they are going to Canada because of Niagara Falls, right? And uh, we're really excited for that. <laughs> we have arrived at our final destination for today okay. at another camping site and we are officially in Canada which is super cool it's okay. another country that we can list off of our places we have been <coughs> new video okay you ready Today I'll be reacting to Niagara Falls, Canada. My Canada? No, no, no this was bad. <laughs> okay. Too. It is literally in the middle of nowhere. We were super lucky because actually the camping was already closed, but there still was an employee and uh, she helped us out. And Canadians are extremely nice. The stereotype of them being very helpful and friendly is absolutely true. Wow. Literally everyone smiles at you. Everyone tries to help you and... We've been in the country for literally like an hour and it's already such a huge difference from US. Super cool, super... Damn, this was shots fired. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was not expecting this. 
But uh, can we all agree? Canadian people are amazing people, but also my American people. We're nice. And If you really think about it, you guys are all American, but yeah. And uh, yes, yeah, since we are here in the middle of nowhere, we're going to check out some nature, get rest, relax, enjoy the vibes. Look, babe, there's the lighting uh, bugs. Yeah. Do you see? Yeah. That's cool. I can oh, see. You put it for the people. Or they can There see. are the bugs that light up. I don't know if you can see it. Wait, wait, don't move. Oh. If you see small sparkles, then no, I think it's too bright. The camera those are it, but I think yeah, it's hard oh, it to see. Cool. But for us, I can show you quickly. So this is our spot. It's way too big for us because we just yeah, have a small crazy. camper. But here it is. There is also some other people here, which makes it feel safe. There is a fireplace, okay, beautiful table. Like I said, in the middle of the forest, super beautiful, great air. And now we're gonna take a little walk around the camping site and see what they have here. They also have showers and toilets, which is really good. So we are gonna be clean and fresh for the next days. So I saw a video about the Niagara Falls, but was in New York, I believe. Um, and in the comment section, some people said, if you see this in Canada, it's even better. Sorry, the music is a bit too loud. So I wonder if this will be really that beautiful. I like Canada, my friends. You guys like Canada? I think it's a beautiful country also. Actually, I know the name of that in Portuguese, but uh, for some reason, I'm uh, I'm actually let me. I have to Google the the word for that in English, because I know the the word in Portuguese, but I'm forgetting. Give me a second, my friends. This is a long video, so 30 seconds more or less. I don't think it matters that much, right? <laughs> And you guys can wait. I guess I, I guess I can play. That's amazing, actually. Firefly. I can already see the falls from afar. We just parked our car. It is kind of a once in a lifetime experience. So enjoy the views. We are going to enjoy the views as well. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> And those guys, they go inside them. Or they, they do what I Beautiful. Like, I, mean, I was about to say beautiful America. But this guy is beautiful Canada, my friends. <laughs> uh, beautiful uh, planet, you know what I mean? We are so lucky, my friends. you guys really enjoyed this long format videos on YouTube this is real talk does not do that well but um, I like to react to this type of stuff so 
So it is the next day and after seeing Niagara Falls yesterday we actually uh, drove to Buffalo, New York. Xava had some buffalo wings and supposedly they were as good or even better as people say. It was so you can be in New York and, and go to Niagara Falls in Canada. It's very close. I, it's very, yeah, I mean, this was in, in just one day, right? Totally, totally worth it. And then we actually decided, because I googled a little bit in Buffalo, was a little bit of a shadier city, we decided to just continue driving. What? And uh, now we are exactly in between of uh, Buffalo and Cleveland. We are around like two hours, one and a half hours away from Cleveland. And this will be our destination from for today. And uh, we parked once again in a Cracker Barrel again. parking lot. As I googled further on, it seems like they welcome people for one overnight stay for RVs and vans. There were a lot, again a lot of other like vans and people sleeping in here. We arrived quite late and our van has a major problem is that you cannot really open any like side windows, only the front windows. But of course we also care about our safety so we lock the doors and we only can open the windows just a little bit to fly, go away. So um, it was extremely hot and it seems that the weather is also really hot today. For example, as you can see behind me, there is one camper leaving and yeah. That's a big truck. It's almost as big as the truck. <laughs> That's amazing. They kind of welcome you in hopes that you eat there, buy something in there and we're going to get coffee there as a little thank you. So let me maybe quickly turn around and show to you the parking situation today. The thing that I like about Cracker Barrel is that it's always in between hotels. So right behind there is a Hilton, uh, behind there is a Holiday Inn. And this is like the camping here, or not the camping, the parking. As you can see, there's still one RV like thingy standing there. Most of the other ones have already left, it's past 9 p.m. But yeah, we are here as well. We chose a little bit of a further away place from the entrance, which is what they recommend. Yeah, I'm really curious what today brings. We are going to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And there are a few different destinations. And I think we will try to find a place around Cleveland and explore that day also one more time. What we are also Let's aiming for is not staying in the big cities. We are always sleeping overnight a little bit before or after the city in more rural areas. Uh, today we definitely have to find a place with a shower because the night today was extremely hot. So once again, let's see what the day brings. Oh yeah, true. Today is, I totally forgot, thank you for reminding. Today is also July 4th, which uh, you may or may not know is American Independence Day. Independence Day, this is the day that there is a lot of fireworks, right? Uh, oh, this is such a crazy day in America, I feel like. And uh, there will be lots of fireworks everywhere. We actually yeah. found a place uh, in Cleveland where they will be showing fireworks as well. Yeah. And yeah, it's one of the biggest holidays for Americans. So it's going to be really fun to celebrate and see that or how did they oh, celebrate. This is so, amazing. Yeah, I will show you around. Come along with me and let's see how it goes. <laughs> I have one complaint about this video. There is a lot of music, but uh, you know what? Leave a like for 4th of the July, my friends. <laughs> Good morning, it's another beautiful day. 
And we slept last night a bit outside of Cleveland because we always try to avoid like the bigger cities. And by recommendation of Matt, we also hopped into a really cute small town called Hudson. It's like Hudson. around an hour, I think, from Cleveland. And uh, we just drove past like a few suburbs. And this is the most American thing ever. The houses are insanely nice. The neighborhood sure. is insanely nice. It is small and there's like not that much to do, but it's like the typical suburb, I think, that Europeans imagine US as. Me? And uh, we're not going to stay here too long, but we wanted to check out a little bit of like, yeah, more rural areas as well to see how it looks like. And uh, I guess I will turn around and show you just a little bit. Oh, please show. There's a lot please, of cute please. coffee shops, bookshops, cute places, and... I feel like thrown back a little bit. Anyone watching from Ohio? My friends, if so, leave me a comment. To 1950 or 60. That's nice. Yeah, so let me turn around the camera and show you a little bit our walk around here. And after that, we will continue our journey to Pittsburgh. is so cute my friends anyone watching from the midwest region if so leave me a comment places like this give me a second actually I, I want to appreciate this you know man look at sorry look at it. I love the buildings this is Ohio This is so beautiful. Whoa. Okay, I have to ask this. Anyone watching from the Midwest region? I know this is probably the second or the third time I'm asking in this video. But if so, leave me a comment. He's looking so, so beautiful. He's actually crazy. This is in Ohio. But the Midwest overall is incredible. On the road again. You know what? I have a complaint. Why not some country? Hmm? Tell Alan Jackson. Do I don't like Alan Jackson? Okay. I like it. It's for you. So my friends, Shake Shack is really that good. Actually, I, I was seeing a, a, um, a video on, uh, not TikTok, it's YouTube Reels or something, and uh, someone said Shake, Shake Shack is one of the best fast food chains in America. I don't know if this is true, but... Give me a second. I'm, I'm actually. I know we are at the, at the ending of the video, but I'm putting a bit low the, the music. A bit low. In the shop. So, found something from my U.S. childhood. Honey sticks. They're so funny. It's basically like honey with different flavors in a tube. And you break it open like this. What the hell? Somehow. I once knew the trick. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, sorry, sorry. Do you guys know this? The any tubes? Or the other side? Mm-hmm. 
and then it's popped open and you just like pull it out. Okay. How is it? Childhood memory flashbacks. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's American, okay. Oh, wait. Hey. It's a nice bridge. Iron City? Wait, Iron City is related with uh, the thing, the bell rust. It is Saturday and today is a very exciting day because we just arrived to the outlet stores and in Pennsylvania there are no taxes on clothing and since it's an outlet we're hoping that there are some really good deals. It's one of the okay. best outlets in this area. It seems huge. There's a lot of nice shops and uh, we have planned actually the whole day for shopping. We have literally nowhere else to go today so we can just enjoy the whole day so yeah i will i don't know if i will be filming too much because i actually want to focus my friends before we enter the store you know what sometimes when i react to this long format type of content you guys may laugh at me but i really believe i'm a crazy portuguese guy alone in portugal watching american stuff but i know there is other crazy people watching this with me if you are watching with me until now leave me the number nine in the comments and i will know you end up watching this until the end with me on the shopping but i will give you a quick little tour of the area and also helps for to make me feel uh, uh, not crazy it's just opened up so it's still very empty which is perfect and let's explore and get some good shopping deals in morning it is the next day and uh, yesterday's portion for you was very short because I really didn't film any of our shopping I fully enjoyed it but no exaggeration we shopped for like nine to ten hours which is insane because we <laughs> didn't think that it will take us that long we came out there around 11 and left around Eight when everything closed and then we still walked in like Walmart and Target around the area so we got a lot of steps in we got pretty tired but today is a new day it's another beautiful day and we have an interesting day ahead of us we are on our way to the waterfall the house called falling water house called falling water from Frank Lloyd Wright Yes, and I have no idea what <clears throat> that is, but uh, Xava is kind of a fan. It's like architecturally a uh, very fascinating house, uh, built out of natural materials, and we're kind of hoping for a tour. Unfortunately, we checked online and it was fully booked, but we're still going to come here, at least check the outside area, and maybe get ourselves squeezed in if possible. We're going to play the we're foreigners card and see if that works on the okay. nice people working there. So I will show you a little bit the area around. Let's check it out and hopefully fingers crossed if you see um, the inside it means that we made it to the tour and if you only see the outside it means that we didn't. So let's see. friends you know the saying that uh, the grass is always greener in the other side i actually believe this is true because the grass is actually greener in america than it is in europe i'm not joking <laughs>
found my dream house. Sweet potato. Show the original Putin creator some support. Link on the description. You guys can even say that you came from Andre. Big is important. Tuned for next week. Oh, my friend. This was really, really cool. Hey, again, we are at the end, but uh, at the ending, but uh, leave a like if you enjoy this type of content. Again, uh, I know I ask for this all the time, but this long format, uh, I was explaining it in the middle of the video, it does not even do that well uh, on YouTube. But uh, if you guys have fun, I, I can do it more. And that's for me what, what matters. Leaving a like, leaving a comment, uh, sharing, whatever you feel helps a lot and um, it's free for you so and I, I appreciate you a lot so yeah thank you so much my friends see you guys in the next one